Albert William Thomas Forsborn said, I had desired to minister to nice people, to have the quietness of the sacred church, the whisper of exquisite music, and the silvery voice of a chorister heard in the chancel. Instead, God called and commissioned me to his lost ones, often to touch the dirty and the rude, to the open-air meetings in the slums, the blare of trumpets, the beat of drums, the clash of cymbals, to share the travail and agony of the Savior of men reaching down to seek and save the lost. I wanted to go to a better school, college, or university to study poetry for my own self-expression and satisfaction. Instead, my Savior called me to bring my love of poetry and song and nail it with my own willing hands to his cross. That was Albert William Thomas Orsborough. And the last verse of this song that we began with is so apropos for you and for me. For you see, we've had opportunity to uh, hear beautiful music, to listen to the words as we sing them, to read them up on the screen, to see a relative of a general, to hear the brass, as well as the piano, and the talent that some of us have more than others. And yet, the words of this last song, but the last verse, will take us from here to there to glory. Listen to these words, and then we're going to sing them together. Every comrade, Lord, we pray, thou wilt richly bless. Lead us forth into the way, one in holiness, one in faith and harmony, one in perfect charity. Then we know that we shall see even greater things. God bless us each one as we depart. We're going to sing this, and then I'm sure we have closing prayer. But uh, will you join with me and we'll sing this uh, last verse together with a little intro so we remember the tune. Shall we stand? 